OK, 11 Billy, no later. Yeah, yeah. See you later. You, Curly. Hang on, give us a chance. Fifty pence. Go ahead, I'm in. Fiver. That's a bit steep. A fiver. I thought the limit was a pound. I just looked it. Oh, I'm out. You old jacket? Go on. Five. I thought this was supposed to be a friendly game. Stop whining. It's not right. How many? One. Two for me, monkey lad. And one for the dealer. Ten. Come on, Billy. Leave him. Look, we made. The bet's ten quid. I'll, er. Uh... I'll raise a ten. Oh. I'm out. Ben's twenty. Not right, Bill. You trying to shaft us, Billy? Any objection? No, no. I don't like this. Get off there. I think I will. Wait, will you? What's all this about, Bill? It's called cards. Not the way we play. Twenty, Cardi. Twenty. You not see me? Nope. Another twenty. No. Come on, you'll get it back. It's up to you, mate. What you got? Two pair. Yes. Got you. Ha! Of kings. <laughs> Posh. Oh. Oh, Kings. Oh, 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 oh. You said two pen? What's well, my little joke? Oh. <laughs> funny, aren't you? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> funny, funny, funny! Listen, June, I know I treated you like dirt. I, I just want to make it up to you. Please. I can't, Billy. I'm sorry, June. I'm sorry, love. Billy! When did you find out? I've known all along. And you let me take them? We had to. We? Me and my niece, Corin, from the bookies. Corin? But I don't understand. My ex, Cormac. Just got out of prison and he's on his way here. They're his diamonds. So I'm giving you a warning. Go. Get away from here. I'm sorry it had to be you, Billy, but... I'm in too deep and it had to be someone. There's no going back. 
I'm not being funny, but you are a bad risk with cash. Cheers. We needed someone who was desperate. A hopeless loser had gambled the shirt off his back. We had to make sure we could get him in the loft for a day or two, just to make sure they came across the diamonds. Right, plumber, come on, in here. Number 9 Ebony Road. Yeah, I'll be round first thing. Plumber, Billy. Our Corin thought he'd be desperate enough to walk right into it. I don't get it. <laughs> there were more than 12 diamonds, Billy. A lot more. But we've taken the rest. We left you just enough to hook you in. I thought you would take them all in one go and, uh, well, when you didn't, my heart went out to you. I had to make sure you were seen splashing your cash around. I saw how desperate you were when you lowered your price to 60 quid. I just have to give Cormac your card. And, um, I think you've had the lot. He'll kill me? Not if he can't find you. Dave, we're sunk, we're dead, them diamonds we took, some fella called Cormac, he's just got out of prison and he's on his way here. Dave, Dave, that loft, number nine, Ebony Road, you know who it was? Crazy Cormac, he's off his head. Well, what are we gonna do? What do you mean, what are we gonna do? You stole them. You sold them? I was only doing a service. Dave! I'm off on holiday. Sorry, mate. What's wrong with you? There's three men there. Billy? Who are they? all the second chances I've given you. You've sunk low before, but this is something else. You know what Lindsay always said? She always said I was mad to put up with it. I even asked myself what would be the final straw, what would it take? What would it take for me to leave? Please. I 
I was 17. Uh, just started my apprenticeship in plumbing. <laughs> Who did they put me with? They put me with the biggest gambler in the world. <laughs> he asked me to go halves with him on a bet, I did. We won 200 quid each. I was hooked. Four weeks wages in three minutes. Thought it was easy. <laughs> And then you meet the girl of your dreams and you get married. And you start lying to her. That's when the heartache really starts. Trying to raise a family on what you've got left in your pocket. You beg, steal and borrow to make that bet. But then, you're not having the bet to come out a winner. You just you're just trying to make the cash back you've already lost, you know. And the more you lose, the more you have to gamble, you know. And then you start looking around for other ways to to feed your addiction. I um, I stole uh, uh, some diamonds actually. Um, well, for a while I, I felt like a king, you know. But this this king. Turned out to be a court jester because a couple of people saw the born loser and me and I just walked straight into it. But the truth is all the diamonds in the world wouldn't be enough for a gambler. And heroin, cocaine, booze, even a beat in your body can only take so much, but gambling... It's limitless, you know, there's, there's no cut-off point. And then one day you wake up and, and you realise what the biggest gamble you've ever taken is. It just, just hits you right in the stomach, you know. It turns, knotting and twisting inside you. It's your home. It's your family, you know. It's your life. And the realisation that there's, there's no bet on earth could ever compensate for the thought of losing what's most precious to you.